Um, yeah. It's gone all through her nappy, all onto me, and it looks super green. Oh. 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 <laughs> if you want to know about Ivy's birth, <laughs> did not go to plan. <laughs> to fully wash her in the bath, because it... so early on a Sunday. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Say hi YouTube. Say hi. Good morning YouTube. Ivy, say hi to YouTube. She's been trying to do a poop, so we're just gonna chill here, do an intro, and then we'll go change your little nappy, hey? Yeah, yeah. But hello, it has been a hot minute. I'm so excited to be back on your screens. You know, no biggie, just looking after a newborn, so I'm sure you can understand why I've been MIA, but, oh, oh guys, this is Ivy Sunday. Is she not the sweetest little thing ever? <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought I'd do just a bit of a day in our life, introduce you to Ivy, chat about Ivy. My life is just about Ivy, so that's basically all you'll get right now. I think we need to go and change your nappy because she has done a poop. Yeah, you're a bit smelly. You're a bit smelly. Did you enjoy your bop bop? Eh. Oh. Um, but Ivy starts her day at seven. So usually usually she wakes up at like 6.30 and then we just give her a bottle at seven, but today she was still sleeping. So I have her a bit of, I have her on a bit of like a feed and sleep routine, which I will chat to you guys about. So if she's not awake by seven, we wake her up. And that's just because if we don't get her up and feed her at seven, um, she generally is on like a 12 hour schedule. So that means her last bottle won't be till seven. Um, and yeah, it's just, it's just how we do things. Hey, yeah, you're a big girl. Hey, you're a big girl. Oh my God, guys, I was not wrong. I was like, she's done a poo. It's so smelly. I've just gone to get up. It's gone all through her nappy, all onto me. And it looks super green. So this is my oh. life. Yes. You just pooped everywhere. You pooped everywhere. Is a poo explosion. Oh, you think it's funny, don't you, hey? Say, I had to have a Sunday morning bath because I pooped everywhere. Yeah. Had to fully wash her in the bath because it... <laughs> I can't with you. I literally can't. <laughs> this is such a great reality. <laughs> oh, yes. All right, let's get you changed. All right, there we go. Hey, we got a new nappy. We got a cute little onesie on. Hey, that was not not the best start today, but we we got it sorted, didn't we, Ivy girl? So I've got Ivy all dressed, and now she's in her mummaroo, and I will get myself a bit sorted. So she's like strapped in there. Hey, and so I'll get myself a bit sorted, clean all her bottles. Um, maybe I might make myself like a little smoothie and yeah, and then we'll put her down. Well, I'll put her down for her first nap. Um, and she usually sleeps for about an hour and a half for her first nap. Oh my God, guys, best purchase. And it's kind of an expensive purchase. So this Mama Roo, it's like, I think the brand is Four Mums. You can hear her like having the best time. Um, it's like a machine. I'll just show you. So Ivy sits in this and it's got heaps of different settings and she loves it. Are you having the 
best time. So she looks at these balls and just has the best time ever. So um, after she's fed and all good, I usually pop her in there and get myself a bit sorted. Yeah. What's that, Ivy? Ready, this one. So exciting. She'll literally just stare at them for like 15 minutes straight and just, just obsessed. So that is like, I think it was close to $500, but it is so worth it because Ivy hates to be still. So if you're holding her, you've got to be moving around and she hates just being put in something and being still. So that thing that like bounces her, she's got her balls, happy days, worth every cent can definitely relate and we just have it in the kitchen area so I can be cleaning her bottles getting everything sorted and I can still see her so I'll just show you guys this is the app we use to track all of Ivy's stuff so the app name is Huckleberry and so um, she slept over an hour and 12 minutes ago um, what time she's fed and it's just really good to keep track of everything so let's just put in diaper she did a big poo, it was green, and it was large. And then I save that, and then I go plus, and it's good because I can see, you know, the last time she fed, slept, all that sort of thing, so she's whingy um, and whatnot. And then also I can go back, and you can see, like, the days and stuff and track for example, like I'll go back and be like, okay, this day she slept nine hours at night. Let's see how, you know, her previous feeds and sleeps were and try and, you know, mimic and make sure we're just like onto things. So yeah, just little FYI, I love that. So I've just quickly made myself a smoothie. Um, this is the literal smoothie I have every single day. It's like a chocolate lactation smoothie. So the hero ingredient is milkshake, which is our lactation drink at NH. So it's basically just um, like a chocolate drink powder. There is a vanilla flavor too. Chocolate is my fave uh, that you put in your smoothies. You can just drink by yourself and it's got a lot of amazing ingredients that is going to help you lactate. So if you're breastfeeding or pumping, this stuff is the best and it's gluten-free, refined, refined sugar-free, dairy-free, vegan, and all that sort of thing. Something that I realize on the market with lactation products is they all contain either dairy or gluten or just like a lot of stuff that, um, I can't eat and I've got a whole thing to tell you about. I'm currently dairy free because of Ivy. She has stomach issues. She's not, she's, she's an amazing baby, but she's got, yeah, she's got some stomach issues and stuff. So I've had to change a lot of my eating, but so many lactation products contains like gluten and dairy, which can really upset Bub's stomach. Um, so here ingredient, Delicious, literally tastes like a chocolate milkshake, hence the name. How cute is the little boobies? Um, and then I just put a bit of greens powder in there. I did put vanilla in there, which kind of doesn't make sense with the chocolate. I think it still tastes delicious, but since I've been making this smoothie and I do prefer the chocolate um, milkshake, I said to our um, like food techs, we need to make a chocolate green. So that is literally in the works, just a little a bit there and then of course pure collagen I was taking that throughout my whole pregnancy still taking it now um, I'm on a breastfeeding uh, probiotic this is the brand that I'm taking that was just recommended to me a bit of peanut butter and that is it filled with so much goodness I have this first thing in the morning I try and make it when Ivy's awake just so I don't wake her up in her first nap. And then I usually have um, something around mid-morning like toast and stuff. I can tell she's ready for a nap because she just gets so vocal. Yes, we're going to we're gonna go sleepy soon. Mum's just gonna have her smoothie. 
All right, she's over the mummeroo. We've got to get her out. All right, I'm coming. Are you over the mummeroo? Hey, are you over the mummeroo? Yes. All right, we'll go have a little nappy nap. It is, yeah, it's definitely time for your nappy nap. to sleep and look what I found that is poop that is poop oh my god ignore my toes so I'm gonna quickly wash this off so Ivy's gone down for her first nap um I'm whispering because we do the whole putting baby down not actually sleep so she learns how to self-settle and then after her first sleep cycle which is around um, 40 to 45 minutes she can go back to sleep and she doesn't need me to like rock her back to sleep or anything so I'm just whispering because she's probably not asleep I just put her down I say na na Ivy and I walk out pat a little bottom and I walk out and I then just like watch her on the camera and I see she like kicks around and gets some energy out. Sometimes she'll like cry a tiny bit, but more just kind of like a whingy sort of not an actual cry. And then she just goes to sleep. Um, sometimes if she does have like a burp or something, she'll cry a bit longer and I'll go in, burp her, put her back down, that sort of thing. But she's getting so good at self-settling and we'll just like, we literally just pop her in the cot and she just goes to sleep herself, which has been game changing. Um, but now Ivy is down. I'm just going to finish my breakfast, put the washing on, wash all her bottles because I didn't get to that. Wolf, Wolf just licked my feet. <laughs> um, and then I will probably take some pre-workout, do a workout, do some journaling, have some me time because that's during her naps is the only time you can really do that. But that's fine. We will make it work. And then after I've done those things, I'll catch up with you guys. Did you poo all over mum this morning? Yeah. Did you poo all over mum? It's not very nice, is it? <gasps> no, it's not. It was a stinky one. <gasps> show us the bottom lip. <laughs> show us your, show mum your bottom lip. Look, look over here. Look to dad. Ooh. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's Ooh. probably because you're tired. Are you tired? Have and you not you slept not, in three hours? And you're not sleeping. Ooh. <laughs> 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 Hello, guys. So it's actually a different day to the morning that you just saw. But that day, my parents end up coming over. And obviously, I forgot to film and I just wanted to like, you know, have time with them. So it's a different day, but I'm like continuing on from our morning and just showing you what our day looks like. Um, so Ivy has just gone down for her morning nap and she's actually slept for almost two hours, which is longer than usual. But anyway, so I'm gonna go get her up and I also wanna show you um, her baby camera too, because it is the best thing ever. So I've just got an Ivy out, put her in a cute little outfit because she vomited over her other one. How bloody cute do you look today? Hey? She had a good little nap. As I've been showing you guys all my favorite, um, yeah, <laughs> things, I've got to show you the Cubo AI, which is her baby camera behind me. It's the cute little bird. And basically, um, this was gifted to us, but all my friends who have babies have the Cubo and said it is a must. Um, so I just want to tell you guys a little bit about it. So it was really easy to set up. We've just gone for the stand, but I know there's a couple of setups um, that you can do. And then, oh, is this boring you? Are you hungry? Uh, it was also really easy to put on uh, my phone and Tim's phone. So what's really good about it, it, is, it doesn't have like a monitor that you need to like carry around or anything like that. Uh, you link it up to your phone and then you have everything on there. I'll do a bit of a screenshot to show you what it looks like. Um, but basically it's got some really cool features. So it's got uh, this like danger zone detection where you can 
uh, put in where in the cot you want baby to go. So it will alert you if baby goes too close to the bars. Um, it also has a cry um, alert notification thing, which has been really useful for us just because we do close her door when she's napping because uh, it's a bit loud. We live on a main road. Hey! So we close her door so our phone will send us a notification when she's crying. So it doesn't matter. You don't have to be constantly on the screen. So I'll show you a little example of that. And then it has this really cool thing where it has family sharing. So Tim can link up to the camera. My mum can link up to the camera uh, and everyone can use it. It also has like a nightlight and heaps of really good features and we absolutely love it. It's really good. We put Ivy in her cot probably the first two weeks and that's because I'm a really light sleeper and newborns are so loud and so I was getting the worst sleep because even when she was sleeping, which is only, you know, a couple of hours when they're newborns, I couldn't actually go to sleep because any little noise she'd make, I'd wake up. And so we put her in her cot and I felt very like fine doing that because of the um, Kubo. And yeah, so we love it. It's really good. It's really good while I'm working too. So I can be at the NH warehouse and look at the camera and see her sleeping. So this is what it looks like. And it's just, there's a mount down there, but I know that you can push it on um, the crib too. So it just sits there. Ivy's just cracked it, so Tim's taking her downstairs to have her bottle. But if you guys do need a baby camera, cannot recommend Kubo AI enough. And I do have a sneaky discount code for you guys. It is Georgie22. I'll put it on the screen here. Um, and I believe it gets you $20 off your order. And that is either the wall mount um, or the other stands. Um, and yeah, you can go check that out. I will put a link in the description. So why Ivy is napping, I wanted to chat to you guys about birth and the first six weeks of having a newborn because it's, it was wild. Oh my God. So first of all, if you want to know about Ivy's birth, <laughs> did not go to plan. <laughs> Everything that could have gone wrong did go wrong. Not really, but did not go to plan. Um, bit the most amazing most transformative experience of my life and tim's life oh my god i just i can't even explain to you so many feels so many yeah just so hectic so amazing yeah me and tim did a whole podcast on her birth um so if you want to know more about that i'll put the link in this youtube and you can go check that out it's like over an hour long because we explain the whole thing, you know, the lead up, how long I labored for, um, all that sort of thing. So go check out that if you're interested. Uh, also, let's chat about the first six weeks because this is something I said in my birth podcast, but I feel like I did so much prep for the birth and no prep for like the actual newborn stage and everyone kind of tells you about it and says it's like you know really hectic and it's actually does everyone tell you about it i don't know but i was not prepared and that is my one piece of advice to you guys um definitely do some prep for the birth and labor and all those sorts of things i think the reason why we had such a good um experience because I knew I did all the prep possible birth still didn't go to plan and so I was really happy and content with like it didn't go to plan and it's okay um you know this is the best we could have done with the tools we had but I did no um you know research or prep for like the newborn stage and that's a big regret I have and something that I advise you guys I just didn't even really think about it. I just thought, oh yeah, like baby comes out, you know, you breastfeed, um, you breastfeed, they sleep, not much to it. Boy, was I wrong. So I did another podcast on the first six weeks where I go into a lot more detail, but Ivy had pretty bad colic the first couple of weeks, which basically just means she cried consistently so she just like cried all the time like we would be up 
all hours of the night and she just she'd sleep for a little bit and then she would just wake up like cracking it um we had basically we realized that we weren't feeding her enough because um she was a really sleepy baby whereas she would you know go on the boob i had a really good experience with breastfeeding at the start and she would go on the boob and she would suck for a little bit and then she'd just go to sleep and i just thought oh she's finished and I'd put her to bed and she'd sleep for a little bit and then wake up cracking it. And I was like, what is wrong? But like, I didn't realize that you have to actually like wake them up, make sure they're, they're feeding. So yeah, we just had a lot of things happen at the start where we just had zero idea. And I've just changed um, angles because my arm is hurting, but we just had zero idea and you know, I had to get my mum to come around because I was just like, <laughs> I remember calling mum in tears being like, I can't do this. I was crying all the time. And so she came around and helped me out. Like that's the biggest advice too, is like, if anyone wants to help you when you have a newborn, let them help you and ask for help. I have these just woken up, so I'll come back and finish this. Um, and yeah, it took us, yeah, it took us a while to figure things out and to figure out, you know, her sleeping pattern and how she eats and sleeps and all that sort of stuff. And that's something I wish I looked into a lot more instead of like worrying so much about the birth because it's, you know, it's a couple of day thing. Um, whereas the newborn stage is the most intense thing I've ever experienced. And also I got, you know, the baby blues where I was like really emotional I was crying a lot and it it honestly just feels like a death to your old self because you now have this you know small little human who literally depends on you for everything to sleep to eat everything and it was just such a shock to my system <laughs> especially coming from someone like you know because I work for myself I very much live my life on my own terms where I work when I want I do everything when I want and I have so much independence and then from going like from that to being on Ivy's time and to caring for someone 24 7 and not having any time for yourself you know especially the newborn stage holy crap it was the biggest shock to my system but if you're a new mom definitely listen to my first six week podcast because i explain a lot and all i can say is it just gets better i reckon the first six weeks was like it was hectic it was i'm not even gonna lie to you guys you know how everyone's like the newborn bubble it was like <laughs> yeah it was a lot i was quite emotional the whole time and it really just feels like holy crap is this my life now but then it gets better and you start to like learn about your baby and yeah now I'm just yeah now that me and Tim are a bit sorted we've got Ivy into a sleep and eat uh sleep and feed routine sorry um which again I have another podcast I know not everyone is for routines with babies, but honestly, I wish I did it sooner. It completely changed the game for us. Ivy is so much happier. I'm so much happier, especially because um, I've gone back to work a couple of days a week and Tim looks after Ivy. You know, knowing when she's feeding and sleeping is just, it. yeah, it's really important for us. It has really worked for us. And so, yeah, it's just, it's been really good for us. And yeah, so definitely check out those podcasts if you're a new mom because I go into a lot more detail. But all I can say is what you see today is very, you know, Ivy's been sleeping and eating and not cracking it. This is definitely a great, almost like a perfect day. Doesn't happen every day, but since we've been on her sleep and feed routine, life has been so much easier. The newborn stage was <laughs> hectic, crazy. I can't even explain to you oh my god um but it just keeps getting better so obviously you know i know she's, she's gonna go through the four month regression and all that sort of stuff but for now we are just embracing it it's very hard um but i just love her so much so this is our life
and I, yeah, that's the little update. I don't even know what I've said, but go check out those podcasts because I go into a lot more detail then. And then, da, 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 da. <laughs> you say, and da, 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 da. <laughs> Are you all nice and clean after your bath? Yeah. Is that a smile? Is it a smile? Yeah. So guys, it is the afternoon and we've done our usual afternoon bedtime routine. So Ivy has just had a bath. She's in her pajamas. It's okay. Lots of attention is needed at this time. And then we will give her her last bottle and then put her to bed. So what we've been doing previously is she has been sleeping through the night from, so we'll give her last bottle around six and then she goes down and then we were actually waking her up around nine o'clock, giving her another bottle and then putting her back to bed. And she was sleeping she sleeps through till 6.37 and she's been doing that for the last month or so since she was about maybe 10. How long has she been sleeping through? Um, about three weeks. Three weeks. So she's probably like nine weeks, eh? Yeah. She's nine weeks. So, um, but tonight, very first time, we are going to put her to bed and not give her that 9 p.m. feed and see if she sleeps from, um, you know, 7 till 7. Just because when we're waking her up, we're noticing that she's a bit grumpy. She doesn't like being woken up and she's also not finishing her bottle. So we're thinking she may be able to sleep through. Um, but I'm a little bit nervous because... Obviously, before she was sleeping through 9.30 till 7 a.m., we were waking up around 3 a.m., and that's a hard one. <laughs> that's a hard one, and I don't want to go back to that. Um, so, I don't know. I'm just nervous that we're going to put her to bed, and then she's going to wake up at, like, midnight or, you know, something like that, which would be fine, but I just – she's in such a good, you know, routine. I don't want to, like, ruin it, but we have just – we don't know until we try. So, we're going to put her, yeah, to bed have her last bottle and see if she does that longer stretch. I'll definitely let you know. But now, um, yeah, we're going to go feed her a bottle. Tim is cooking dinner. What are you cooking for dinner, Tim? What are we doing for dins? Uh, we're doing a warm salad. Yeah. And rack of lamb. Ooh. What's in the warm salad? Tonight, do a potato, onion, pumpkin, and carrot. Mm. So we do some roast veg, some lettuce. A bit of lettuce. Delicious. Yeah. Sounds good. And then you're gonna have your bot bot. You're a bit grumpy this time of night, aren't you? Hmm? You tired. You ready for nanais? Hmm? And say nanai to YouTube? Hmm? Nana Ivy. What have we got here? Oh. oh. Salt and pepper. <laughs> Babe, that's a huge piece of meat for me. <laughs> <laughs> what are we carnivores? Kind of so got a lamb rack and some that's the warm salad we're talking about. Salad. And we're watching Morning Wars. We've just had dinner. Ivy is asleep. We're watching Morning Wars. Um and we'll go to bed at like 8.39. See if she sleeps through. I'll either tell you my next vlog or on Instagram. Fingers crossed. But yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you in my next video.